the Democrats have really done more to destabilize the American economy and to help the big banks on Wall Street than the Republicans have done. I would imagine that the Republicans know a little bit more about finance and markets enough that when someone like Goldman Sachs asks the Congress to change laws as they did in the 90s to do away with position limits on the futures contracts, the Republicans would have said, no way, that's completely inconsistent with any notion of a fair market. But the Democrats, I have a feeling, are just not financially literate enough to say no. And I think that Goldman has very shrewdly positioned themselves with the Democrats because the Democrats typically, like many NGOs that I've run into, they seem to have a, a complete inability to comprehend these issues of markets and finance and how it relates to social justice. So under the Democrats, we also saw the repeal of Glass-Steagall. Glass-Steagall said there's an inherent conflict of interest between the commercial banking side, which is the lending side, and the investment banking side, which is taking an ownership position. And we have to end this conflict of interest by separating these two entities. You can have investment banks and you can have commercial banks, but they have to be separate. Do you think that the repeal of Glass-Steagall was a tragic mistake? Uh, no, I don't think so. You could be a commercial bank like Chase Manhattan, or you could be an investment house like JP Morgan, or a bank like Bank of America, or an investment house like Merrill Lynch. But you couldn't be both. And as the 90s went on, the, the screaming uh, hyenas of Wall Street were demanding that this prohibition, this regulation, be abolished.